Welcome to CUBN. This is Christians United Broadcasting Network. This is CUBNlive.com. That's where you can go. Check out our chat room. Check out our TV shows. Check out all what we got. We got little kids do their things. We've got uh, Lisa Sparks do her things. We got everybody. Love one another in Jesus Christ. Check out the chat room talk. Check out the store. Buy some stuff. Have fun. Buy gifts. Do whatever you want. Come and visit us. One big happy family. All right. Let's see what we got in the news today. Church leaders in Israel are putting aside their differences to repair Jesus' tomb together. So, it is a collective effort, but each one of us in front of the holy tomb feels the values of the holy tomb, and the holy tomb is the most alive place in the world. It gives the message of resurrection. <coughs> After 200 years, the site many believe to be Jesus' tomb is getting critical renovations. A rare agreement between the major religious leaders who take care of the church of the Holy Sepulchre, Sepulchre, Sepulchre made it possible. The church lies deep in the heart of Jerusalem's Christian quarter. It's the place where many believe Jesus was crucified, buried, and rose from the dead. Thousands of pilgrims visit the church each year. The Roman Emperor Constantine built the church more than 1,600 years ago. Over the, over the centuries, it's been burned, shaken by earthquakes, destroyed by Muslims, and reconstructed many times. The last repair work took place in 1810 when the A.D. Cler with the A.D. Cler with the A.D. or Mausoleum was rebuilt following a fire. After the earthquake of 1927 there was a kind of damage around the Adequila. Ad and even the adicule itself, tour guide said, Rabbi said, Rabbi told CBN News that nothing happened. Then because the Greek, um, the Greek, Orthodox, Roman Catholic and American Orthodox churches responsible for the site's management couldn't agree on repairs. There is always a kind of competition between the different denominations. Who will have the honor to pray more in such a place or have the biggest part of the have the biggest part or to have the honor of serving the holy place, Rabbi said. The leaders put the competition the competition aside after Israel threatened to close the site due to safety concerns. Now, prof now Professor Antonia Moral Poi Loy with the National Technical University of Athens is leading the restoration, res res restoration project. We will remove the marble slabs and stone slabs. We will inject grouts to homo homogenize the complex structure. With which is the holy rock, Moro Polo told CBN News. That means that we develop a unified structure that all the layers will behave structurally as one and upon this after repairing with new compatible and performing the mortars and concrete, we will readjust, readjust the stone slabs with titanium bolts Marapua Lua said, explaining how the work would be done. And the restoration takes in the tiniest details. Tiniest details. <coughs> Theodore Mavrides is a Greek conservation conservator, worker working on the cleaning of the stones. Years of burning candles in the church have left them blackened. 
we start with one method, then maybe we continue with another method. Mavridis said, he showed CBN News one of the substances, a brown paste that's applied and how they use cotton swabs to tenderly remove the grime. So that we have a very clean surface as you can see here. You can tell the difference between the two surfaces and said pointing to a clean stone next to a black one. The three den denominations and Jordan's King Abdullah will put up more than three million for the work, which should be complete by March 2017. Major repairs will take place at the night so visitors aren't disturbed. For those working on the project, it's more than just a job. I'm very excited because I'm a Christian Orthodox and this is our biggest place for the Alf for the Alpha Orthodox Christians, said Vasilios Sefulius. Zephyrus, the Greek civil engineer leading the second team doing the restoration and reinforcement of the monuments. I'm working in Greece in monuments like this, but this is specialized work, very specialized work. I don't believe I can go to something bigger than this, Zephyrus told CBN News. So it is a collective effort, but each one of us in front of the Holy Tomb feels the values of the Holy Tomb and the Holy Tomb is the most alive place in the world. Moro Poalis said, it gives the message of resurrection. Church leaders in Israel are putting aside their differences to repair Jesus' tomb. Oh my God, Jesus' tomb. Never saw it. Would love to go and see it. It's amazing. They're going to put it together. They're all going to stop their religious thinkings and just going back at it, one another. And, and then they're going to they're gonna get together and just say, okay, we're going to do this. And we're going to get all together and we're going to get it done.